Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, guys. I think five feet sounds a little bit better. What's up everybody, Jared here with another emotional but yet endearing movie review. So last night I went out to the theater and saw a movie one day early, it's a big deal for me, five feet apart. Stella spends most of her time in the hospital as a cystic fibrosis patient. Her life is full of routines, all of which get put to the test when she meets Will, a charming teen with the same illness. There's an instant flirtation, and as their connection intensifies, so do the dangers. So is five feet apart the emotional love story of the year? Let's find out. Now before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of Five Feet Apart in the comments down below. Again, was this the endearing love story you were hoping for, or did this movie scream of cliched tropes? Now let's get into some of the good. Honestly, going into Five Feet Apart, I was in a crummy mood. I did not want to see this movie. I was like, this is just going to be another YA, emotional, illness, drama, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But the first 15 minutes, I'm sucked into this movie. It very much has a feeling of fault in our stars. It's this emotional story of these two kids that have an illness, but they find, you know, a common ground. And again, it's ultimately this love story that surprisingly got to me. And as I mentioned, it's very much this endearing story. I mean, it's emotional as well, but it's very much endearing. These two characters coming together, this love story angle, but also the, the fact that they're both suffering from cystic fibrosis, like this gives this angle of like, this could be our last date, like let's live it out to its fullest, which gives it this very positive message to me. I mean, you know, basically you can find happiness and joy in any of the dark, dire situations that life is you know life is pretty dark and these kids they're dealing with basically a life-threatening disease or illness rather and they they're able to have fun and joy and you know it's just it's kind of heartwarming i understand that it may come off as cliched to some but really it it struck a chord with me and as i mentioned this movie as endearing the performances and chemistry amongst the two leads Haley Richardson, I think it is, and Cole Sprouse. Like, this is what really drove this movie. The performances from these two and chemistry. Like, you buy into the love, the 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 feelings that these two have for one of another. Like this, they do a wonderful job. Haley embodies this girl that's suffering from CF. She's very much like everything is by the book. She's very OCD. She's very anal. <laughs> anal. Looks at the positive side of things and really lives her life for her treatments. While Cole, on the other hand, is obviously lazy, he doesn't really care, like, he's looking at the darker side of it, like, hey, I'm going to die, this is what's gonna happen. And the thing is, when you're younger, opposites attract. So you can see that this, these two opposites, they, they butt heads at first, they come together, there's great chemistry amongst one, one's learning from another, one's learning from the other one, and it just, it worked so well, surprisingly. Like, there's this one emotional scene where they're both at the pool, they show their scars, and it really gets you. Also, another thing that really stood out to me was the way that they actually handled cystic fibrosis in this movie. Like, surprisingly, I mean, this is a YA love story romance movie, but they handled it in such a way that it was very much educational. Like, I didn't know anything about this illness that people suffer from, but they give you a great look into the daily life of these people, kind of the treatments, medications, all of this stuff that they have to deal with. And obviously the main draw of the movie is this love story, but the way, like I said, that it's educational and they don't really frame it in this, they don't make fun of it, I guess. They make some lighthearted moments and there's some laughs obviously, but they handle it in a, in a way to be like, hey, understand what these kids are dealing with and how their lives are pretty difficult so like just finding love finding some sort of connection with someone means so much however as i mentioned five feet apart does fall into some kind of predictable or cliche tropes that are very reminiscent of what fault in our stars and other ya novels or love stories like that it does have these kind of meandering plot points where you know these kids they meet they're not seeing eye to eye there's flirtation and then eventually they fall in love and whatnot and you know that's kind of set up towards the beginning of the movie but about the middle half that's where things kind of just take you on this, I would say, almost emotional roller coaster. You're having these highs, these kids that are basically, you know, they're dying, but they're having great time. They're having a party day together. They're laughing. They're, they're, they're smiling. But then it takes a deep dive to maybe a surgery has to go on or a, a tragic event in their lives happens. And it's very, you're gonna laugh one minute, you're gonna be crying the next minute. And lastly, just to kind of a few nitpicky things. I mean, like the beginning and the end are a little bit ambiguous and they kind of might hint at something. So don't look into it too far. Also, where the heck were the parents? I mean, if my child was in the hospital 
dying, I would have checked on them at least a couple times. I mean, at least a call or text. Overall, Five Feet Apart is an endearing romantic teen drama with a positive message, superb performances, and a surprisingly educational kind of aspect, but with it following some familiar beats and some nitpicky things. I'd recommend checking out Five Feet Apart. This is a heartwarming story that will be sure to bring you to tears once or twice. In closing, I'm gonna give Five Feet Apart 3.2 out of 5 boxes of tissues. So what did you guys think of Five Feet Apart? I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch more videos over there, you know, movie reviews, trailer reactions, fun comedy skits. If you haven't already, follow all of my social media to stay updated on all my videos. Subscribe down there, click that bell icon, follow this channel, and thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.